That jetliner made an emergency landing at Santa Barbara's airport last night, and it is still grounded as of this afternoon. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri is live at the airport, and John, the problem was first smoke in the cockpit, and now might be much more. You know, whatever it was that happened last night, the pilot wasted no time in bringing that plane out of the sky down here to the Santa Barbara airport. And once they got to the runway, it was cleared out. This all happened about 7 o'clock last night, and emergency crews were already waiting. They secured the emergency quickly, and they've got that, uh, those engines shut down so that those people were safe. Tense moments, but a safe outcome when a United Airlines Airbus 320 had an emergency shortly after taking off from Los Angeles Monday evening. Smoke was detected in the cockpit, and the Santa Barbara Airport was the closest place to come down. About 140 people were on board. Extra fire crews, including specially equipped foam trucks, were waiting on the runway and in touch with the crew. The aircraft rescue and firefighting crews in radio communication with the captain did a complete 360 around that plane to check for obvious external you know, indicators of a fire or smoke. Uh, one smoke coming out of an engine, that engine shut down, smoke dissipated, so they troubleshot it well and, and quickly. The passengers have now moved on, but the jetliner remains grounded. This jetliner should have been at the San Francisco International Airport around 8 o'clock Monday night. Instead, it remains here in Santa Barbara. Mechanics are going to come out to determine whether it has a minor problem or a major problem and when it will be safe to fly once again. Any passenger who had left the plane in the secure area of the terminal was not allowed onto the replacement plane when it arrived until they were screened by the morning TSA security team. We spoke with one passenger who was stuck and stayed the night. Uh, yeah, we probably should have stayed in the area and not have left. I mean, we probably should have just done what everyone else was. Typically, those people are warned beforehand because TSA has already gone home from the day and obviously they cannot get back on an airplane if they have departed the sterile area. We always maintain the integrity of the sterile area. This plane does not fly into Santa Barbara, but is similar to others that do, and rescue crews know the protocol to handle aircraft emergencies of this size with a large passenger count. I was just out on the tarmac a short time ago, or at least near there where the glass windows are, and the plane has now backed off of the gate, and it looks like they might be giving it a, a trial to get it up in the air and give it a flight. It was supposed to go back to San Francisco, as we say. Maybe it'll go back to Los Angeles, but it looks like it's going to be leaving Santa Barbara. And one more thing, even though they don't have planes of this size here regularly, they do train on big airline disasters every three years, and the next test is next month. Reporting live at the Santa Barbara Airport this evening, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3.